Hi guys, in this video we write an app to plot countries GDP by using World Bank data. So let's see how it works. Here we select the countries. Let's go for Italy, France, Germany. Let's select the years. For example, here. Okay, and now let's plot. This is the plot here. So we have uh, France, Germany, and Italy. And what we can do here, let's see that we want to see the data for these years. We can just select, and here we have the output with the data. So Germany in 1976, the GDP, and so on for the other countries. So this is what we are going to do. Let's see a little bit here the output. The interface here. So we have a total panel here and this is this one. GDP per country and so on. Then we have a fluid row. And this is the first time that we see this fluid row. This, uh, this row basically is divided in two parts. Now you have to think that one row is as length 12. So what do we do here? We select column 6. So we divide this row in two parts equal 6 and 6. As you can see here, column 6, column 6. And here we put a select input. Countries, the ID, select countries is the label. Then we have choices. And here we are taking choices from the data set, the name of the country. Okay. Uh, multiple true allows us to, to add uh, more country here in this example. For example, here, as you can see, we have now United Kingdom. Then what we have, again, select the input year, select year. And again, we, we take the, the value from the data set that you will see in a moment, and then we have plot and so on. So let's close here. This one is a little, it's a structure a little bit different here. First of all, I have this source and this auxiliary file where uh, the, the data are downloaded from the World Bank and are reshaped. So this is the file here. And here, we, what we do, we just download the data from the World Bank and we reshape the data to be plotted with ggplot. Uh, we, we already used this code in the video uh, about reshaping from wide to long and we just extracted a part of that code, okay? So, I use this source local equal true so this file so when i run the app this file is run and here for example choices gdp country this basically is because the data set is called gdp and from here i have uh, a column that is called country so this allows us to set up all the possible choices Again, multiple equal true to select more choices with equal 100% because we want the input uh, as, as large as possible. Again, column 6, here we are dividing this first row in, uh, into columns with length 6 each. And here, year, select year, and then choices, unique, GDP underscore L. This underscore L it means that we reshaped this is this is GDP when we import the data from the World Bank. They are in a long uh, in a wide format. So we reshape it to have in a long format and we have only these three columns. Okay. I'm using the column year to select all of the all the possible year. Then we have a second row, and here I just place uh, a 
in action button as you can see here I just set uh, 12 for all the the length of the of this row again this is just the an ID this is what is the label and this is the class of the button then we have a further row dividing two parts here as you can see column 8 where we have the plot this is the ID and then we have this brush plot underscore brush and this is when we select that area and return the data so this is what is doing here then we have a table output as you see this cover just the uh, space 4 of this row that return the, the, the data okay so these are the input now these are the output to draw uh, this is a, we already seen in the previous video event reactive is just we are waiting that the user push the button this input p is the is the input to is the id of the action button to plot then we have the required input so we are waiting that this input exists to plot so the input country and input year then here we are just subsetting based on uh, on country okay be careful here this country with the small c is just the id of this select input on the other hand this country is the uh, it's the column name in the GDP underscore L dataset. So for country in here and year in this input here, basically we are subsetting just to show the data that we have selected. And then here, output this plot. We have the render plot function to render out the plot. And again, when we use here the, the, react, the event reactive function, this out object is treated like a function as you can see here and this is just the the code to enter the gd uh, ggp gg plot we added this res and equal 96 this is a parameter to uh, for the plot and here output data is this id here what we want here this brush points out of this data here input plot underscore brush that is this one as i said is when we select uh, a part of the of the plot okay so let's run it again and let's go let's check japan china let's go from it has a so here as a what okay now let's plot so as you can see here we have the plot of china and japan and we see this very uh, strong growth of China and they see China GDP surpassed that of Japan here but now that if you want to see the data you can just select here do you see now we can see the data so in, in China 2009 this was the GDP for Japan here you can see uh, it was still larger but in 2010 as you can see the GDP of China surpasses that of Japan. So that's it for today. I hope the video is useful and see you in the next video.